GenFest swag. Benham's Gen had a table, and they were giving away trading cards. It's kind of interesting. I already opened these, but I uh, wanted to show you what was inside, because it's, uh, it's kind of uh, whimsical. Um, they have apparently invented some persona for this Benham character. Jin with as much character as the man himself. Inventor, adventurer, distiller. They're truly, truly trying to tap into something here. Uh, the most interesting man in the world, perhaps. But look, it comes with chewable martini gum. So this is a temporary tattoo. It's kind of trying very hard to play to nostalgia. <laughs> here. Trading card checklist for you to attempt to collect them all, should you be inclined. We've got, are these different botanicals? What? I don't remember. I don't know which one this is, but uh, he claims to be an opera singer, a heavy machine operator, a licensed hostage negotiator. I didn't know you needed a license for that. An amateur masseuse. That's dangerous. Well, this is number two. This is the ingen ingenious micro column still. Okay. Well, at any rate. We've got Buddha's hand, lemon, that's kind of cool. We've got the coriander and cilantro, and I don't know what that is. Oh, this is coriander, and cilantro after it has bolted, that's what that is. Apparently snatched from the paws of a man-eating Moroccan tiger. I kind of doubt that. All right, what else have we got? We've got Star Anise, that's pretty cool. Yeah, the perilous ski slopes of China, they are really going all out here. Am I missing some? Oh, there he is. The perilous ski slopes of China and an auto gyro. He's like, uh, like that scene from the James Bond movie. There's the tiger. Now what's going on here? Borrowed from a crafty Guatemalan royal, Benham's priceless supply of odiferous cardamom. I think they're like trying to invent this character to sort of sublimate some of the trickier history around British Empire. But they're not really doing it. They're not really sublimating it. They're, uh, they're just indulging in it. This is a Tuscan shark. I'm not sure if that's a thing. Here's your juniper. Mm, I like this design. This is nice. I do remember this gin tasting very lemony, bright, fresh lemons. It was great. It reminded me a little bit of Uncle Val's. Um, but maybe I might even prefer it. I'm going to have to try that again. Dr. George Benham was the first man to distill and sell gin on a nuclear submarine. Of course he was. He has a sort of not too wet, not too dry martini recipe. Lemon twist. Yeah, that makes sense. And a grape sliced in half. Okay. Actually, that doesn't sound bad. And a gin and tonic, it looks like. Yep, gin and tonic. It's like, you don't need a recipe for this, guys. <laughs> uh, and here it maybe sums up the whole card set. Gin is like the truth. It can be improved with a few entertaining additions. 
I don't know if it's been improved, but it certainly is a curiosity. And I'm not a historian, but you can make of their interesting embellishments what you will. But I like the set. It's kind of cool. It's good swag. Everybody likes swag. So I just wanted to make sure anybody else could see it. They also had da -da -da, Benham's Gin Scratch and Sniff Botanicals. Which is kind of insane, and I haven't done this. Like, yeah, it actually works. <laughs> oh wow, it really does work. Like this would be a great thing to mail out to um, cocktail clubs or even just people who are interested as a promotional item. I don't imagine this costs too much to produce. Really, like. Now, um, these two kind of taste, smell the same. Nope, that's, that's different. Maybe I'm just got it on my finger now or something like that, but. Yeah, this is, this is interesting. Orser doesn't always have a great, strong flavor. It's there, it's like mildly sweet. Okay. Yeah, this is really neat. I like this, this idea. They also had at their table a whole lineup of, uh, botanicals in jars and little mason jars that you could, you could go down the line and sniff. There was a fair number of them, I think like at least 15 or something like that. So um, this kind of all falls in line with that. I do remember it being really a, a kind of nice gin. I don't know if this is new relatively or if I just hadn't heard of it, but I liked it. Lots of lemon, which I'm a sucker for. So, well, gin club, have fun, bye.